guys I'm back with a get ready with me so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so I have some new products here and I'm just going to use them and again these products are new to me I do have three products that were given to me by my bestie here on YouTube her name is Nisi J she also has a channel I'll either put it over here or over there go check her out I'm she got me these products for my birthday my 53 uh, uh, turned 53 September 1st um, and she's a year older than me so if you're into mature skin care mature makeup you know anything mature definitely go follow her and I'll leave her link below and again there's a picture of her so let me just show you all what she got me and she got me some hourglass makeup which I've never purchased in all the years that I've been here on YouTube. So she got me the Ambient Hourglass Lightning Palette Volume 2. This is it. Let me just take it out of the box. And I'm really excited about this because I I don't I you know the reason that I've never bought it uh, is because these uh, makeup products are or this line is really expensive uh, but I guess there's no that's not an excuse but here it is okay and here are the shades I did swatch it so and then she also picked up or sent me the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. And the shade that she bought me is shade 13. And here is the actual skin tint. Okay, and she also bought me the Hourglass, I'm trying to, what is this called? Okay, Vanishing, or Vanish Airbrush Concealer comes in a box like this. And here is the actual concealer. All right, so I picked up the Mario, the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. Comes in a box like this. And the shade that I bought is medium dark. So let me go ahead and take this out of the box. This is it. You get a brush on one end and here's the shade right here. Okay, I also have picked up the House Labs by Lady Gaga and this is the clear cut liquid eyeliner. Comes in a box like this and the eyeliner looks like this. It's supposed to be matte. I'm hoping so. I think they, the lady told me that I had to shake it so I'm hoping it's matte. If it's not, it's going back. <laughs> that kind of rhymes. If it's not, it's going back. If it's not black matte, it's going back. Okay, that's just me being corny. Okay, and I also have the Natasha Denona Golden Palette. Um, I picked this up a while ago, but I never did use it on video. So here we go. I'm going to use it with y'all. And um, here is the actual palette. And I did swatch the shades. And here are the shades. I also have a blender a sponge by Lancome and it's a black sponge I've already wet it I also picked up the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide hue drops and I actually did get the tinted serum comes in a box like this and the bottle looks like this so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and start. Let me go ahead and apply this. Okay, so I got the tinted and it's pretty dark. Y'all see that? I think I may have put on too much. My face feels a bit greasy. Here's the Pharmacy Lip Smoothie in Honey Vanilla. This is it. And I love this. I don't know if you all have tried any of these lip smoothies, but they are so good. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes and I'm just gonna use a pomade by Beauty Creations. Comes a little container like this. And it's super affordable. I've used it before on my channel. I just like it because it's really quick and simple, easy to use. I typically prefer to use the pomades 
I think they just kind of go on a little bit easier. All right, for my base, for my um, eyeshadow, I'm gonna use my Clinique concealer. Just as the base. And if you're looking for a concealer that has good coverage, along with you know some healthy ingredients, I would suggest trying the Clinique concealer out. And I'm gonna use the Hourglass Concealer at the bottom. And this uh, sponge, it kind of reminds me of the, um, the Elf sponge, which is really, really nice. And can you believe that I have never purchased the Beauty Blender sponge? Never, ever. One day I'm gonna have to get it. Now I'm gonna go in with the palette. I'm gonna start off with my transition shade and let's see. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. And I'm just gonna place it right here in the middle. Okay, and for my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna use the lightest shade, which is right here. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with one of the goals and it's so many to choose from. I think I'm gonna go in with this one right here. And in my outer V, I'm gonna use this shade, this chocolate shade. And I'm gonna bring it down the same shade on my lower lash line, but I'm gonna keep it on the outer V. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So now I'm gonna go in with the eyeliner, if I can find it. Okay, so here it is, and I think they told me I needed to shake it, so I'm gonna shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. And if this doesn't go on well over eyeshadow, then I'm gonna have to take it back. All right, so now that I have the eyeliner on, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes. These are the lashes here. <laughs> I can't tell the name of the lashes. All right, so I got the lashes on, and now I'm gonna go in with my skin tint. And I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up just a little bit. And by it being a skin tint, um, I already know that I'm not going to get a lot of coverage and I'm okay with that. Alright, now I'm just going to go over it a little bit with a sponge. All right, and now for the concealer. I'm going to highlight under my eyes. And I'm gonna go ahead and 
blend that out with my sponge. All right, got that all done. Now I'm gonna go in with the Sculpting Stick by Mario. Ooh, I think I got the wrong color. Hmm. It looks to be like a cool tone. Can y'all see that? Okay, well, let's just keep it moving. Let's keep it moving and see what happens. All right, to set my everywhere where I place the concealer, I'm gonna use this Sephora smoothing powder. I think it's called, that's what it's called. And I have a e.l.f little spongy thingy right here. And I'm just gonna set it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face and I'm gonna use this middle shade right here. Okay, and now I'm going to use this outer shade uh, for some dimension and highlight. Wow, I see why this stuff costs so much. It is so pretty. Hmm, okay. Now I think this other shade is like I don't know if it's like a setting powder. I think it is, this shade right here. So, and I'm gonna add some of it on my forehead. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in with my eyeshadow palette and on my lower lash line, I think, I'm going to try this gold right here. Let's see what happens with that. All right, now I'm going to add some mascara on my lower lash line. Okay, and now it's time for the lips. Okay, and I just have two lippies by Nika K. I'm gonna use the darker shade around the, on the outer perimeter and the lighter shade on the inner perimeter. All right, so I got the lipstick applied and I'm gonna put a little bit of this gloss by MAC on top of it. And I'm just gonna use my finger to apply it. All right, and last up, we got the setting spray. And the setting spray I'm gonna use is by Milk. This is it. Okay, let me take my hair down. It's kind of got a hang over my face. Okay, 
And guys, this is the final look. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, let me know if you've tried any of these products. And if you have, what do you think about them? Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until my next video, smooches.